Hmm. Um, I've been watching this thing on HBO. It's it's pro- executive producers Michael Bay, which kind of threw me off at first. You know, he's the action movie guy, like mm, the Transformers. Transformers. This thing's called Born Evil, though. It's a documentary, uh, limited. No, it's a limited series. Mm-hmm. Docu limited docu series, I should say. It's like eight or ten episodes about this family of people, like Tiger King. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, it's 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 these monsters. The the first so in, in the first episode or two, you're introduced to a child killer who confessed to be uh, who confessed to his crimes while in prison. But he was in prison for child killing. He killed a little girl, mm-hmm. and uh, so he his self. But he's insane, and I mean like actually like movie scary guy insane. He's, he looks like the Joker a little. He has this crazy, maniacal uh, smile. And he likes to be around filth and decay. So he, like, hoards his milk containers and lets them go all rancid. And he, like, he'll, like, leave liver on his windowsill until he gets all moldy and then eat it. He'll hang sausages up from the, the ceiling of his cell to let them get all rotten and moldy and then eat those. There's an wants- Elden Ring character like this, but carry on. He, sa- he says it remind. <laughs> he told his, his cellmate, he confided, that that's him. that's him when he was looking good. All mm-hmm. right, I, I promise you. He shaved his head later on, it, 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 and then he started smiling a lot. And it's it's rough. He he uh, he told his cellmate that he it reminded him of the smell of human decay, and he liked that smell. Um, but he had what, what was the thing he did that was fun? I mean, other than killing the children. Oh, <laughs> his cellmate. The way this all comes out, his cellmate. This is better top child murder. <laughs> it does. This is great. <laughs> okay. His. His cellmate is one of these guys who embraces the Jesus look, long black hair and the beard, and they happen to be shaped kind of like Jesus. And it's and you know they end up with a nickname, Yo Jesus. Remember, remember Walking Dead? There was a Jesus. Look like this him. dude was one of those guys. So when this insane child killer gets him as a cellmate, he goes, "Oh, I've prayed to you for so long." Mm-hmm. He thinks Jesus Christ is his cellmate, and so this guy gets Jesus gets so sick and tired of this freak telling him about little girls that he's like, look, man, whenever you have those thoughts and you want to talk about that sort of thing, just write it down, just write it down and, and draw some pictures. So you end up with this notebook of terror <laughs> that is now like exhibit a, and he, and Jesus is talking to the camera cause he's a free man. Now he was in for weed smuggling, like a lot of weed smuggling. Oh, so he's not crazy, crazy. He's hippie. No, he's, he's a part of the documentary. Now he, he's mm-hmm. being interviewed on he's the outside cool, world. Actually. Really cool, if I'm being honest. And it, Jesus is like, man, you look at them drawings. They'll freak you out, man. All the eyes are too big. And they start showing the drawings, and they are. The eyes mm-hmm. are too goddamn big. It's like really <laughs> upsetting. It's really upsetting. And it's kind of childish, but talented at the same time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like, it's not scribbles. It's everything symmetrical to some extent. It look, reminds me of Rugrats animation, if you remember that kind of art style. Mm. Like, 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 clearly, this, this is an artist. Just not. They have an. They have a childish arting art art style. Well, it turned out this guy has killed lots of people and eaten lots of people. They're not sure how many, but there. Look at this shit. Do what I mean with the big eyes? <laughs> it's a little too big. So you get to like episode. I like the cross hatching technique. Very interesting. <laughs> you enjoying that? I, yeah. So after like yeah, that, that's his signature. It's Halden or something. Ooh, grasp the left finger. Yeah, childish. Right it's <laughs> oddly way better than I could. do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like childish, but I can't do this. Frankly, I'm I'm not talented. I could do and, much and, better than this. And well, I'm, you're I an would never. I I took painting 101 and drawing 101 actually at university. Got my ass fucking handed to me in those classes. But anyways, yeah. Sorry. Look at the Continue shading on the like we the people, like like the way that it's like kind of there in the background and, and the seals on the floor. I think you guys way... would be impressed with how good you draw if all you could do all fucking day is draw. Fair. Fair. <laughs> um, you guys so, might be pretty good after a couple years. So you get to episode two or three of this thing, and you're like, holy shit, that guy is insane. He's a serial killer, he's a cannibal, and he may have done more things, but he's confessed all this to Jesus, of course. And then they're like, Oh, did I didn't mention both my brothers are serial killers. And you're like, what? And now we go to his, the second brother on the other coast of the United States, completely separate crimes. Also killing little girls and children and, and doing sex cr- and raping. And he's, and this guy's like a cross dresser as well. He like murdered this lady and then put her clothes and then like dressed as a woman to like leave her house. So it wouldn't look suspicious. He, um, 
oh, what was the other thing? It, it's so creepy, both of them. Like, like I keep getting them a little confused, but their crimes are so similar. Killing little girls and burying them. Oh, they have the interrogation footage. When they when they got him to the police station, they 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 found some evidence that links him to to this little girl's murder. Like maybe some blood in a room he stayed in, like mm-hmm. something like that. And so first they send in two pretty police women to like kind of crowd him a little. Like he's sitting on like a two wide seat, like like two mm-hmm. things wide. So one of the gals sits next to him, and the other police woman sits across from him. And she actually she they told her they're like dress sexy, like dress up. Like, like, like put on your, you know, dress like you're going on a date. And so like at one point she's like, look at this new slip I got. She pulls her skirt up a little so he can see this like lace slip that she's got on. And to hear her tell the story, because she's telling it today. This is 20 years ago. She's mm-hmm. like, and his eyes got big. You could tell he liked it. Then they show the video and he, it's more like nice. Like, it's more like, I don't give a fuck. This, right? Like this dude is, this dude is, is weird. And so the girls are like crowding him, being weird with him, doing weird shit with a teddy bear that's sexually um, explicit a little. And the guys see this ain't working. And the dude stands up. He's like trying to walk out on the women. Like, I'm, I've had enough of this. So then they they're t- like 30 the, years too old. They send two dudes in now. And these and, and one of them sits next to him and the other sits across from him. And they've got him crowded again. And the dude sitting next to him. He's part of the documentary. So you get to see the old version of him, you know, bald headed and gray bearded. And mm. he's, he's telling the story with glee because he mm. knows this guy's a monster. He's like, you know, we shook him up a little. <laughs> and they're all over him. Like, like, he's like, he's like flicking this guy's nipple. And the guy's like, oh, don't flick my nipple, dude. What the fuck? And he's like arm around him. He's like, dude, get your arm off of me. He's like, what? Oh, we're being friendly here. That's how we do things around here. We're all friendly. And these cops are feeling this guy up. Like, 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 like rubbing all over and flicking his nipple. And then one guy, the other guy goes, what kind of panties has he got on? Oh, you know, he's got girly panties on. And he starts like, he reaches to like his hip. So you can kind of grab his waistband and pull him out. He's like, look, women's briefs. Look at that. Told you had been girly. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's, this guy's a cross-dressing crazy person. Straight Mm -hmm. out of Silence of the Lambs. Mm -hmm. And, and so then like, I didn't see it, but they acted like he made a move he shouldn't have. So then the next thing you know, the guy sitting next to him is strangling him. And the other guy's holding his hands down at his pocket so he can't lift his arms. And he's going, I'll kill you. You know we're going to kill you. We know what you did, you sick fucker. They're like torturing him now. Like, right? they're, they're like pulling his underwear out. They're flipping his nipples. They're crowding him, getting way too close. I wonder what he did to earn a strangling. Probably not. Not much. It did, right. I, I think they just started strangling him. Mm-hmm. And, and you're seeing all this in, like... 25 year old footage and then they cut back to the guy and he's like we got in a little trouble about that some people complained <laughs> it's like this was not the end of his career this video of him choking this man in the interrogation room right. i like, was just you know are you talking about kill- that that killer documentary you've been yes watching? that's oh, okay. th- that's how they interrogated one. he was but a he strangler no, was no, no, that no, his method cops. of choice no this is the cops torturing him in the interrogation room oh like, well he was a serial him. killer i'm okay with that. yes exactly but here's the thing he just takes it he almost doesn't care he'll kind of like he's like ah oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. he's not that but he's also not like like freaking Who out his that much were they girl, just ch- children and women uh okay. it seems like it, it seems like a lot of um children and easy women he ones was, yeah he, he's going for easy targets he's doing serial the killer one, challenge on easy mode i can't remember if he was the one who had like Cut the girl's nipple off, and they and then dismembered her in the trunk of his car. And oh, he like, was going for the disgusting pervert they, achievement. They're like, Speaking we never her. did find the nipple. They kept going on about it. We searched for that nipple, you know, high and high and low. We looked for the nipple, and they cut to another person. Never found the breast, the breast pieces. Um, he mm-hmm. said that. I, he how bit long her is it going to last? Right? How long can a nipple stay out there detached from a person until you're? Well, like, I think he maybe had it somewhere. I'm like, pretty sure that Ed, uh, Ed Gein made a belt. Out of human nipples. You mean nipples it takes so to make a So clearly they can stay together somehow. <laughs> Dude, Ed Gein was a monster. He, you gotta do he had something. no shortage He's, of victims. You gotta have it some depends. preserving have techniques. Have I been on a cut? Like, so then, I, uh, like, so then oh, you, get, hang, you get... So that's the second serial killer brother. And then the third brother is a is like a 65-year-old trans person, maybe, with like scabs on his head and like 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 wearing this ridiculous Mario Brothers like get up. Or something, it, like meth scabs. But seems like a you know a person who's been damaged by, an, by a rough life, and um, 
And Man, what then a he strike alluded, out of a family. And then they start talking about hmm. the dad in like the fourth or fifth episode. And the where I left off last night, I stayed up way too, too late watching this. I was creeped out a little. But they leave off with, oh, didn't you know? Our father was a serial killer, too. And it's like, dun, dun, dun. Like one of the brothers like came home early and caught the dad like murder fucking a little girl. And, I'm sorry, like, documentarian. Is that something that you might have been interested in? Like, <laughs> like <that's... laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, again, Michael Bay, executive producer. But there are excerpts where Michael Bay is having prison phone calls with the murderer. Like, I guess the murderer was willing to open up to the Michael Bay on the phone. Mm. And you know, it's it's really interesting. I'd never heard about these. Where are you watching fuckers. it? And what's it called? HBO. It's on HBO. It's called Born Evil. Yeah, mm. Born Evil. Um, I think there might be eight or ten episodes of it, and I'm maybe three or four in, maybe five. I, I, I watched a lot of it last night. I was hooked. When, when they, they did that Tiger King like thing at the very end where they're like, oh, didn't I mention both my brothers are serial killers? And it's like, whoa, a different serial killer now? The first one was so evil. This one can't be that bad. And the second one's just What's their, super their evil. What's their total, like I, who was the most successful of the killers? So the they've, they've only sort of alluded to that at this point because the one guy was in the Navy. And he claimed to have killed someone at every time the boat stopped at every port. He had killed a person. And, and um, that could be they, a little serial killer, killer uh, bloviating They're, They tend to do that sometimes. Well, they, he's an insane person. So yeah. you have to. So th that's kind of the line they seem to be walking. I, they haven't gotten to the part where they start identifying lots and lots mm -hmm. of like strings of bodies but they do have i think murders that corresponded with his stops or something like that maybe disappearances interesting so there, there was some truth. evidence they haven't touched on that yet because they're doing so much of like their childhood and maybe like what went wrong with them and because the one guy in interrogation is like my daddy used to dress <laughs> me up in a dress and put me in ass and they're, they're like did he really i don't believe that now tell us where the little girl is you know it's like mm -hmm. it's like you don't believe that um they they took the one oh I, you weren't here when I said it but the guy started spilling the beans because his cell he he's insane and his new cellmate was one of those guys who looks just like Jesus Christ like beard and hair and everything and the cellmate played along he's like confess your sins my son <laughs> <laughs> and then rat and then like then he's like nine one one that's <laughs> oh, <we need> <laughs> hilarious I oh, saw yeah. it, it, this Great. reminded me of this the guy was on Reddit Kyle probably saw it because he sees Reddit as much as me but. Coming out of surgery, he's on anesthesia and he's all fucked up and loopy and he's filming himself. He was like, I know I'm on a lot of drugs right now, but I I swear I see Jesus in the corner. And he turns the camera around and here's this guy in a robe with long hair. Hey! Pretending <laughs> 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 to be Jesus. He be like, no, I don't like see anything. <laughs> Speaking of the whole serial killer thing, that just last night mm. I was on whatever streaming service it is. And I was, you know, mostly watching Asian mythology videos on my computer. And I was like, I want to have something in the background I haven't had in a while. And uh, Hannibal, that show, yeah, I'm watching which that right is too. a, it's a good show. So yeah. it's a solid show. I really like that. Uh, Mickelson good. actor, the guy Mads who plays Han Hannibal. He's very nice good. Sick. The, uh, the black guy. I really like him a lot. The, the cop. I yeah, don't remember Morpheus. what that actor's name is. But Lawrence he's, Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne. I love that guy and everything he's in. The the white guy who's like kind of the main character, not as not as sold on his performance, but like he's, the he's first okay. time I watched through that series, I was like, man, this guy Mads Mickelson, he's fucking sly. Like he knows exactly what to say. On this watch through, like even while watch, I was like pausing videos on my computer to look up, and like it would be the black guy coming from a case where a victim's heart had been yeah. pulled out of his chest. And stolen, and they're like, we don't know what this guy's up to. Maybe he's eating the parts. Maybe he's just selling the parts. Maybe he's a bit of a uh, an organ, uh, uh, you know, collector intermediary. And he goes to Mads Mikkelsen's house, and he'll be like, "Oh, what is this delicious meal that I'm about to eat?" Insane German guy, and he's like, "It's his heart, and we all have one." And he's like, "What kind of heart is it?" He's like, "It is a cow heart." Very similar to a human heart. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice the flavors of the <coughs> pudding I put on top of it or whatever. And he, he's saying shit that like if I were in that, if I were eating dinner, even not being a detective, I'd be like, are we all hearing this? <laughs> like, are we all hearing this? He just said that like, he's like, oh, dinner is so important. Yes, it is. 
you can take another person and almost make them a part of you, couldn't he's you? He's always being like he's, he's not even doing like a sly thing about it. He's just like, he literally, he served these fuckers tongue <laughs> after a woman's tongue had been cut out. And he was like, yes, this was a particularly chatty Cathy. <laughs> like, it's like, like the woman who was just killed was like a journalist or some shit who had like been reporting on it. Like it's it's, it's beyond the pale. Faster. And so I yeah. love Lawrence Fishburne or whoever, great actor. But as a detective, that guy a leaves dope. a lot to be desired. Dude. So he his character is Jack Crawford. It's it's in all the novels and everything. And he is he gets played for such a dope and such a goober. It, he 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 seems like an absolute moron. Yeah, he's Charlie Brown. Hannibal is always being very arch, like you said. He he's sort of like tongue in cheek. I'm smarter than everyone here because he he's is. overtly sinister. It's not even arch. He's overtly sinister to be Lithuanian, by the way. Okay, well, it's, Germany, the you know the what character. we think about them. Yeah, oh, cool. <laughs> I mean, if Hitler had his druthers, wouldn't they have been in the mix? No, they they were in the mix. They were no, part they, of the Soviet Union. No, I meant his mix. Oh. No, he actually, he wouldn't have. He did, I don't no, think he wanted them. They're very pale and like, they're, like, they're fight. They're real. He was fight. really a case by case basis Down kind of guy. Right, he was. There was one group he really you know, didn't that's care what for. I appreciate about him. Yeah. yeah. He had his Jewish everybody... doctor, and he was yeah. like, you know, you're not so Jewish. Hmm. That's what you think. <laughs> well, it's true. He got I'm addicted. billing your HMO for additional <laughs> services. He's looking at the bill. A seventy dollar Q tip? Are you serious? <laughs> like, <laughs> are, they Deutsch, are they Deutsch marks then? I don't Mark? know what they were. But regardless, um, your, your point about they're playing Crawford for a fool, which I don't like because I like him as a character. You should yeah. see through that. They should at least make it harder for him to see. Well, well, all right. I'll tell you where it gets a little old. Like, there are so many wackadoo serial killers like in their county <laughs> that it's like after a while it's like. At least the see the X Files had a similar thing, but it would be across the country. Yeah, they're national. FBI. Yeah, they'd be in Alaska, then they'd be in in Florida. You know, they, it's like yes, okay, it's a big area to cover. <laughs> Lots of wacky things could be happening, but this is just sort of in the tri-state area of DC or whatever. This is like in the DC metro area all the time. It'll yeah. be Virginia, it'll be Rhode Island, but it's kind of in the same area. They hopped to Minnesota once, but it's these people, and it's not little crimes. It's like ah, this guy he. He buries you alive and grows mushrooms off of you. And oh, this guy, he turns people into human totem poles. Oh, that guy, ah, oh, he's obsessed with losing his daughter. So he's murdering and eating girls who look like her. Yeah. You know, the same old same. Oh, this guy, he impaled a woman on a set of deer antlers. That's the And strike. then clearly stole. Well, that's Hannibal. Yeah, that was that was Hannibal. <laughs> right, like, he's allowed. He's, we, we, we like that. He's allowed. He's but so over the top sinister. That it's like, I don't know how any, I wouldn't feel comfortable around that. Even the way he does his psychiatric routines, oh. someone will be like, I, you know what, Hannibal? I just fear that like I don't connect with anyone and I'm on an island by myself. And he's like, yes, it would be very disturbing to meet someone who lives their entire life this way, would it not? Like, And it's like, you, you, it's you right now. Yeah, you <laughs> sound very evil. You sound he, scary. He does sound scary. I didn't know he, he was Lithuanian dude, or Latvian dude, he, or whatever. Well, the character is Lithuanian. The actor is Norwegian. But um, the uh, Nicholson, he, he, he's scary to look at. Like he's a frightening man. Like like he's his very face, angular. He was great in Casino Royale. He was the guy who cried blood, bloody tears and like faced the off shift. at the end. I yeah, haven't yeah. seen that. He, all right. So it's legitimately a good. But that's the only Bond movie I'd recommend is Casino Royale to like someone who doesn't give a fuck about. Bond. It is a good Royale one. Royale is just an action movie. Eva Green's in there with her big old titties. James Bond gets tortured and they like beat his balls with a big knotted ship's rope. Oh, you've only this. Maybe. And he, he's, he's like, oh, okay, okay. And then like Mads Mikkelsen leads in, leans in. He's like, yes. He's like, a little to the left. <laughs> What's the one with that, uh, that actor who's dead now? Who was the bad guy? Philip Seymour Hoffman? Yes, I've seen that one. I've that's seen the one the, with Philip Seymour Hoffman's the bad guy. I don't think that's James Bond. I'm pretty sure that's uh, Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Oh, well, then I have seen that. Four? Something like that. Something up there. That's a good movie. And and Philip Seymour Hoffman, as always, gives a, an amazing performance. And you're scared of him. Like, usually those Mission Impossible guy, uh, enemies, it's like, all right. But on the, we win. <laughs> on the I Hannibal thing, him when, when you try alive. to... What was that, Woody? I'm sorry. Philip Seymour Hoffman. I didn't realize 
that he was one of the greatest actors in the world. That dude I, kicked I, ass. To me, he was a not very good looking background character. And then after he died, like scenes that he did, you know, came up on Reddit and YouTube and such. And I was like, oh my gosh, this guy was brilliant. He is a Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, dude, Philip Seymour crap. Hoffman is yeah. awesome. He's you wanna, like there are. Right. There, I, I, I got like a this, recommendation as, then. Owning Mahoney. If, if, yeah, I think that's what I was about to say. Yeah. I had, I had to look up the gambling. Name of, he's addicted to Mahoney. gambling. So, so owning Mahoney, good. he's a gambling addict, and it's mm-hmm. hard to watch him 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 lose this money. Like he goes to like take the casino back, and he it's it's there. I don't know how much he's up, millions. It seemingly there's piles of money, and his buddy who's like a bellboy or something is like, you got him. walk away. You got him. You beat him. Walk away. And he's like. Nah, nah, I gotta. Nah, I can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> like, it's a great a, movie and to watch. Doubt, but... doubt, doubt. He plays a priest, and I think Meryl yeah. Streep maybe plays a nun. The nun thinks the priest is molesting a particular young boy, and we don't know. The audience is sort of left in this ambiguous middle area mm-hmm. where we we the, he is with the boy a lot, but seemingly he's taking him under his wing and just trying to be like the best guy ever because there's a fine line between someone who's going after a child and being creepy or not a fine a fine line perceptively like from the outside looking in Mm -hmm. you might be confused whether someone is just the best dude you've ever met or the worst dude you've ever met by the way they act with a child they're trying to do something with and you don't know as the audience and 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 at the end i'm still like i don't know if he molested that boy or not I, i think he was i like to believe he was not that's how I've like come down mm-hmm. uh, like like since last time I watched it. But I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. And Meryl Streep is like trying to ruin him. She's like, and, and there's these really powerful scenes of just them talking and she's accusing and he's defending and he's crying and have I you, should watch uh, more of his have stuff. Have you seen The Master? That's the other one, the cult movie with Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. I saw that when it came out. He's really uh Philip Seymour Hoffman, I mean, is really, really good in that. He's mm. like a cult leader, Woody. I think you'd you'd enjoy that one. It's a bit of a there's parts of it that are a slow burn. No, <laughs> you know, just because like you're, your thing, Woody. Like you're, cult like you're, <laughs> I just mean like you don't like the you slow burn game dialogue game as much, but there's enough inter spliced action, okay, and you okay. get to see him like run a master class of manipulation, where someone in the cult or someone outside of the cult will try and instill doubt in his uh, flock and his followers, mm-hmm. and he like. He's the master. He kind of masterfully turns every assault on what he's doing into a reason that the people should be more invested, not less, in what he's doing. And he's just a really good actor. And it's just, did, did he, he die is. of heroin or something like that? I think he did, I think right? so. Yeah, I think so. Man, heroin takes too many people. It's a way to go, man. It's a way to go. All the cool kids. Well, yeah, but cool it, it feels good. Like slipping into a warm bath. Never getting out. <laughs> He's not getting yeah. out. He's that's he's what dead. they say. I buy it. Yeah, I, I've I've read about what it's like. I've never done anything like it. I don't like opiates. I don't think I could. I'd ever dig it. <laughs>